Hi everyone, this is Ida with Just This and That. On today's video, I'm actually re-recording a previous video. Um, I'm really new to vi doing videos, so I guess I was holding my phone wrong when I recorded it. And it was cut off on the side, so I'm having to redo this. Um, I just want to share a project with you that I made for uh, one of my nephews that likes to bake. And I'm going to show you the before and I'm going to show you the after what I did with it. So this is a, it's a recipe box and this is the box I used and I purchased this box at, um, AC Moore and this is what it looks like. And it actually has a little notch here in the front and, um, it has a magnet that keeps the lid closed. It's kind of hard trying to open it one handed. There we go. So it's got this little magnet here and one right here on the lid. And that keeps it shut from opening up. And there's the inside of the box. And then I'll show you the bottom. And then there's the bottom of the box. So it goes at an angle. So this is what, and I think I paid around probably $10, maybe less than that because I did use the coupon. So maybe like six, $7. That's what I used. Um, to make this recipe box. So I'm going to show you the after. This is the after. I don't know how good this video is going to come out, but I'll do my best. The lighting is not great in here. Anyway, I, I didn't want it to look very feminine. So what I did, I used a lot of the gears and the uh, watch washers and bolts and nuts and chain and you name it I put it on there and I, but I didn't want it to look girly so what I did was I used the die cuts with a view tattered times paper pad there's what that looks like and it's got a lot of great uh, papers in it I'll just flip a few pages so you can see it's a really great paper stack so this is one of some of the papers that I used and then um, that's the one that's up here on top it's one of the papers from that and the paper right here that looks kind of grungy I got that paper also from die cuts with a view but it's the heirloom collection paper stack and I'll flip through a few pages of this so you can see what that looks like it's got some great paper but this is paper and the tattered times is car card stock so that's the only difference that this is actually paper anyway that's what I use for this box here we go on the front, I wrote the word recipe, and all I used to do that, I used some wooden letters, and I painted them black, um, and then I used the Viva Decor, the Inca Gold paints, the rubs to make it look uh, old and grungy. So two of the ones that I use. It's this one metallic rub and the col the color is copper and then the other one is this one and this is let me see if I can get this to focus well I can't get it to focus but the color is silver so these are the two colors that I used to make the letters look uh, grungy. Besides the, like I said, I painted it black just with some apple barrel black paint. This one's gloss, but I think the one that I use is just a matte one. And all these gears that I put on the box, um, these are not Tim Holtz. I think these are by Spare Parts. But Tim Holtz does have a package, and I'll show you what that looks like. There 
There you go. And then he has these large like this, and then he has the mini ones. So, you know, if you can't find the spare parts, Tim Holtz does have some of those. And um, I don't know if you recognize this wheel right here. This actually does turn. And what that is, is I ran out of one of my tape dispensers. So I took everything apart and the two gears that are in here, those are this big gear and a smaller one that's underneath here. So I'll, all I did was break all the lavender pieces off the clear plastic and just left the gears. And then I painted those black also and added the bronze and the, and the silver metallic rubs on it. Then I used a glass cabochon and I put Bon Appetit. And, it, and all I did for this is I used uh, the diamond glaze. Let me show you what that looks like. There's the diamond glaze. What I did was I just printed it out and I put a couple of drops of the diamond glaze on top of the, the writing. And then I just put the cabochon over it, gave it a couple minutes to dry, and then I trimmed around it. And after that was dry, I um, put a couple more drops on the back to seal it. And what I used to adhere it to to the gears, the, the metal gears here, I used the E6000 glue. And that's what that looks like. And most of these products that I use, they you can get them at Joann's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore. The one thing I didn't I didn't get uh, from my local craft store is the Diamond Glaze that I ordered on, uh, I believe, on Amazon. Anyway, um, so that's what I did to the front. Then I had a bunch of spare uh, little nuts and bolts, some ball chain, just pieces that I had left over from some domino necklaces. And then on the word recipe, I adhered a bunch of the different colors in gears because they come in different colors. So I didn't have to do anything to them to alter them or anything. I put them on just as is with the E6000 glue. And then down here is another, just another screw I had lying around and some washers, some nuts, pieces of chain. But before, also before I, I adhered my paper to my box... I painted all the joints, all the corners, all the edges that I that I knew were going to show. I painted that all black. So whatever color you want to do, just make sure your accent color that you do all your joints and all the edges. That way you have a nice finished look. So I'm going to turn it around. Okay, hold on. The wheels right here are by also by Tim Holtz. And they're the pulley wheels, and I'll show you what that package looks like. I really like these because they, you know, they don't look feminine. They look very manly. So that's what I was going for, and these fit the bill. So that's what I used. And I got those at, at Joann's, and I used a coupon, so it wasn't too bad. I'll show you a side view of the wheels. Let me turn it around. And on the side, I can't, I didn't do anything. I just used that grunge paper. And see the way it looks grungy? The paper was already like that. And what I used to adhere it to the box was that Mod Podge. And I'll show you what that looks like. And it comes in different finishes. You'll have the, the gloss like this one. Then there's an antique. There's a matte. There's different ones you can get. Uh, the one I use with the gloss. Let me show you a close-up of the wheels. The wheels are really cool. I really like the way the box came out. There's a side view. On the back, the same thing. I kept it really simple. And the paper had a lot of uh, copper and bronze going through it. So I didn't have to really do anything to it because the paper was already nice. It already had the look I was going for. Now here's the other side. On here, I didn't want the lid to, when it opened, to open all the way and fall to the back. 
So I added a couple of uh, eye, eye hooks. Let's see if I have one lying around. So I can show you what those look like. Yeah, but here's one. And these are by Tim Holtz. I don't have any packages to show you, but his are really tiny. And I like that. I didn't want it something big and bulky. But in this case, I guess big and bulky would have worked. But I, I bought these and they come in, I think they come like in a bronze, a copper, and maybe a silver in the package. And these are by Tim Holtz and they're available where all his products are. And you can get them at any local craft store. The chain that's on the on the lid and on the box here's the chain and all I did to the chain it all it, it was already this color all I did to it really was add the different uh, sizes and gears and different colors just to bring in all the colors that were on the box I'm sorry for my lighting but I'm hoping this video will turn out better than the other one and this chain that's on here, all it had, it was all the chains, didn't have any gears, but it did have this tag on here uh, that says to and from. So I had my daughter stamp it, and this is really, really thick, so it didn't work out as well as we wanted to. It kind of dinged it up and bent it up, but you know what? It's okay. I'm okay with it. But now I have a Dremel, so I'll be able to actually uh, engrave on it. So that'll be great. But I, I've, I got this chain at Hobby Lobby, and it was a seasonal thing for Christmas. But I'll show you what that looks like. I still have a couple in a package. I went ahead and bought what they had, because I really, really like them. Let me pick it up. Maybe the lighting's better this way. It's nice and bulky. I love that. And I'm not sure what I paid for that. I think I got it um, also clearance, maybe about $4. I think that's about what I paid for it. So I'm going to turn it back to the front. And um, what I did on the bottom, I added um, a couple of gears. I finished the whole thing. This is an easel style recipe box. So I actually have some magnets down here underneath the paper on both sides, on either side. And then on the bottom, instead of using another magnet, I used those little metal gears, which were appropriate for what I was going for. So when it's down, it actually stays down. You don't have to worry about it flopping around or anything. I did the same thing on the back. Just in the center, I added another one in the back. And an, I, let me turn it around. Another one in the back, and then I added the gear to hold it in place. Same thing down here. It needed the, the extra magnets, so I put the gears there and the magnets under the paper. So let me turn it back around. So let me pick this up so you can see what I mean by easel. So what you do is you just kind of snap this up and slide it back. And it's got a little lip right here in the front that holds it in place. And there is the easel part. And I did the same thing. And I made sure after I was done with the paper to do the glossy accents over, over it so I could seal it. And then all these little chains that are on here, I also used... Um, glossy accents to adhere some of this stuff and this little uh, screw right here and this is just um, like a three-dimensional sticker it had a bunch of clocks and gears and stuff like that and all I did was trim it to the size that I needed and then I added more um, I added some metal gears again to it because all it had were the paper ones so I added some metal ones and it did have some brads though and then I wanted to personalize it, so let me see if you can catch this. I've been playing a little bit with wire and writing names with it, so I wrote his name on there. And then I just added the this front part 
to go on top of this paper that already had a bunch of gears on it. So to hold the recipes here, I just decorated one of his clips. I actually put a magnet in there and, and it'll hold that, but it tends to want to swivel, so I don't like that. So it's a good place to park that when you're not using it. But the main idea for you is to clip it up here and you clip your recipe there. That way it'll hold your recipe together. I mean, up so you don't have to hold it or prop it up on anything. So that's the purpose of this easel style. Let me see if I can get one of these recipes out with one hand and one of the cards. And that way, and so as you can see, when I open the box, everything stays closed. The lid doesn't fall out or anything because of those magnets that I have in there and the gears. And then the chain holds it so it won't open all the way. I guess I could move it a little bit further back. You know, that just depends on if I want to or whatever. As, as far as you want it to go, all you got to do is move the, the hook eye. But for me, that works. So there's the inside of the box. I used another piece of the paper that's on the front, on the top cover. And then here's the inside. I completely papered everything on the inside. I matted everything. Glossy accents over it to seal it. And then I used some chipboard to make these dividers. And I didn't write anything like desserts or entrees or anything like that because I really don't know what he's into. So I figured I'd just leave him blank and he can just write that in with maybe a metallic silver marker or something like that. Anyway, here's one of the cards. And I tried to do something that had gears on it as well. So it's got recipes right there, ingredients, directions. Kind of blurry, it doesn't want to focus. Let's see if I can bring it in and get it to focus for you. No, doesn't want to do it. Anyway, I'm going to pull one out and then I'm going to prop it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can do this one handed. I might be able to. Let's see. See if I can clip it in here. There we go. So it's not real straight because I'm doing it one handed, but you get the idea. And that way he doesn't have to hold on to his recipe or anything. And actually he could probably just prop it up in here, but I like the clip part where you don't have to worry if it's that it's gonna fall or anything. But there is my finished product. So let me step back a little bit. Move it back some so you can get a better view. And there's the before. Sorry for the shakiness. I don't have a camera yet, so I'm doing this with my phone, and I'm not real good at it yet. And here is the after. Let me move further back. And there's the after. So I hope you guys like my video. Make sure to like it and subscribe. You can also visit us at www.justthisandthat.com And some of these boxes will be available for purchase on my Etsy store. But as soon as I put them in there, I'll put a link to it down in the description. That way you guys can just click on that and go right to it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. Thank you.